In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add a CSS class with JavaScript and also how to remove a class. So in this tutorial, we'll actually look at a few different things. We'll look at how to see what classes are actually applied to an element using a bit of simple JavaScript code. We'll then look at how we can actually add new classes or remove a class from a particular element. And we'll also look at how we can toggle a class so that if it exists, it's removed, or if it doesn't exist, we actually add it onto that particular HTML element. So we've got two divs set up here, and they've just been given an ID of block one and block two, just so we can identify them easily with our JavaScript code. And you'll notice that they both have the class of block, and that actually sets the background property of the div to a background color of red, so that we get a completely filled block element. So let's head over to the console and see how we can find out what classes are actually applied to a HTML element using JavaScript. So I'm just going to access each of these particular div elements using their ID. Of course, you can use a query selector if you're looking for something a bit more complicated to locate elements on the page. And you'll notice that each of those div elements has a property called class list and note the uppercase L in the list. And in our console, if we just hit enter, you can see for block one that there are two entries in the array like response and that has the block class and also the block filled class. If we do the same for block two, you can see it just has the singular entry for the block class which is applied to the second element. So you might be thinking, well, we can just manipulate the values inside of those array-like objects and add in or remove particular classes. But there's actually an easier way to do it and there are some functions that are available on the class list property which make your life a little bit easier. So if we want to remove a particular class, we can actually call a remove function and pass it the CSS class name, which will actually remove that class from our class list property. And you'll notice on the page that the red background has now been removed because that class is no longer present on that particular element. If we want to add it back, we simply use an add function. And again, we specify the CSS class that we want to add back to that particular element. Of course, we can do the same thing with the second block as well. It's simply a case of passing the CSS class to either of those functions to add or remove them from the element that we're targeting. So sometimes you might want to add or remove a class depending on whether the class actually exists on the element already. And jQuery has a really useful built-in function to do this, but luckily for us we don't actually need to use that now as there is also a toggle function built into the class list property. So when the particular element already has that class, it is removed. And when it's not there, the class is re-added. So as I say, this is something that you might add for a button click to toggle the class when a particular element is clicked. So let's just set that up quickly with an event listener to see how that might look. So now when we click on the block two element, if the block fill class is already there, it's removed. And if it's not, it's re-added. So that's just a quick example of how you might use the toggle class to quickly toggle classes that are set up on your particular elements. So there you have it, the class list property on a particular element allows you to add, remove, or actually toggle classes for any of your HTML elements that you might be working with.